Welcome back to Low Country Spotlight. We're just trudging along to segment three, and we have one of our most favorite guests with us to finish out today's show. It's none other than the artist Choice, also uh, Minister Chris Joyce, and all these other accolades and things. We don't even need to welcome you, Low Country Spotlight. We just say, like, just come on in. Just come hey, on hey, in. Hey, hey, I'm here. You know, take your shoes off, <laughs> you know, settle down. Yes, indeed. You yes, know, indeed. we just love the fact that the relationship that we mm, have, yeah. you know, I can text you and say, Chris, come on my show. Yeah, yeah, and I'm here. <laughs> and yeah, then yeah. you show up. Of yes. course, this is a part of the um of the girl and two guys. Yes. But our other guy, yeah, he's a little bit incapacitated this today. morning. Yeah, you know, yeah, he's yeah, a little yeah. bit yeah. incapacitated. <laughs> but shout out to, to yeah. Sea Blood and the Christ Epidemic and all those things yes. he's doing. He'll be back. Okay, He'll be back. okay, Chris, what are we talking about today? I mean, we're gonna date the show. It's Mother's mm. Day weekend coming yes. up. Yes. I know that you've been communicating with a lot of your followers, uh -huh. and they've been sending you topics. So you yes. tell me where we going at today. Um, one interesting topic I just received. Okay. Um, one was about domestic violence. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that that is a very, very um, uh, uh, important topic to yeah. talk about as well. Yeah. Um, especially being in the state of South Carolina. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah, yeah. Number one. Are, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Number one for the of instances of, of, mm. of women, of, excuse me, women who are killed by men or injured mm. by men. Yeah. And I mean, quite honestly, you know, sometimes that, that script can be flipped. Yeah. You know, when yeah. you, when, hey, when you got a woman that's like, you yeah, know. <laughs> very true, very true. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, and, and you know, true. I think it's kind of a taboo topic, too. It is, it is. And I think it it's is. just because who wants to admit that their mm. mate, you know, whether it's in a, just a romantic relationship, girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, mm. or whatever, or married relationship, who wants to admit that that's happening in their yeah. house? You know, tell yeah. us what you're hearing from your followers and your listeners. Um, well, yeah, it's like I said, it's, it's a big issue that yeah. has been going on. But like you said, it's kind of taboo yeah. where it it's, goes under the radar. Yeah. It's not something that's easily talked about, oh, yeah. easily admitted. Yeah. Um, but yet it's still a real thing. It's a real thing. Um, and there's many different um, things that are going on in the city to actually yeah. kind of help that out. There's a um, one organization that I've done some work with called Real Mad. Okay. That's Men Against Domestic Violence. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and it's a guy that I know named Butch Kennedy. He's okay. very, very, maybe we'll have him I up here he one time. I think he does like father to, does he do father to father? Too, uh, I or believe father, so. Father, something like yeah, a something mentoring with, thing for fathers. Yeah, and okay. actually, I'll be helping him out with that this summer. It's okay. called Camp Hope. Okay, um, okay. It's going to be in West Ashley. So, yeah, I'll be helping him out with that as okay. well. Okay, okay. Um, but, like he was saying, he was just telling me about some different statistics and things yeah. like that and how important it is to get the information out to let people know that there are different agencies that yeah. help with that kind of thing. Yeah. And that um, if, if nobody talks about it, it won't ever get dealt with. You know, and yeah. our, um, the guest, Sydney Bollier, she wrote a book, I'm a mm. Survivor, and talk about forgiveness. And one of the things she mentioned was she was a abused by her dad for 18 wow. years. Yeah. Um, she immediately got married to somebody at the age of 18, and then mm. that person turned out to be an abuser. And I was kind of oh, like, well, wow. you go from one abuser to the other. Yeah. You know, did you not see the signs? Is that something you were subconsciously attracted to? And she said, mm. you know, it was like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm. You know, when we first got together, you know, it didn't, of course he didn't beat me, but yeah. you know, he started soon after. Tell right. me what you think that women specifically mm. uh -huh. should be looking for, or what are things that when we see should be red flags when we're mm. entering relationships so we don't end up in a situation where, oh, he was so nice, and now mm. I got a black eye, you know? Yeah, yeah. What I would say um, is take your time. Yeah. Definitely take your time. Um, if it's, if it's going to be a situation where you're going to be in a relationship and you don't ex assume that it's going to be over quickly. Yeah. So you should take your time. For yeah. one thing, because like you said, uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing, you don't see the teeth for a while. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so you need to yeah. take your time. Yeah. Pause. No rush anything. Because most times we hear those stories and something happened really fast, mm -hmm. really quick. Where I just jumped into a situation. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Find out as much as you can about the person. Yeah. A thousand questions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Every question you could possibly have. And be and if it's worth being in the situation, wait long enough to where you can get answers. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Because eventually you can't hide something for, for so long. Yeah. If that's your personality, yeah. it's gonna show up. Well they say what what I mean, what you do in the dark comes to the comes light. Comes to the light. You know, yeah. eventually it eventually comes it's up. Come but out. come yeah. on, how are you gonna tell this woman that's been dating around, that's mm. been in and out of relationships, that that sees this knight in shining armor while uh -huh. she's sitting at the bar, uh -huh. and he says all the wonderful things? Right. How are you gonna tell her to wait? She needs to wait. <laughs> <laughs> she, she needs to wait. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. She she needs to wait. Some of the worst things come as the shiniest presents. You yes. know what I mean? Go ahead. You yeah. can. I'm sure you can speak on that. Just go, 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 yeah. go, go, go. That's yeah, why you but, here. Yeah. You know, but those are the kind of things that you got to you got to look out for it. You know what I mean? You got to look out for it. I know some of the things that look the best to you are not yeah. good for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And some of the things that don't look the best to you are the best for oh you. Oh my gosh. You yeah. know. And so that's why I say a lot of times it's just patience. And I know we live in a society where 
everything's microwave. Yeah. We don't want to wait on anything, yeah. but yeah. sometimes waiting is necessary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you necessary. and you even think about the pressures you have from other people, mm -hmm. like your friends, like, oh, well, girl, he looked good, and he bought you that. Oh, my yeah. God. You know, he, this is the one for you. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I think the peer pressure, you know, our rush, rush, rush to do everything, I think a part of it is also our desire not to be alone. Yeah. Very now, who real. wants to who wants to be by themselves? Talk Very a little real. bit about that. Yeah, I, I, that's that is definitely a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Especially as a person gets older and yeah. you see life and you see your friends and they're getting married off and Got things kids like that. Got kids and grandkids yeah, and all yeah, that. All that kind of stuff. Um, but what I've learned is, would you rather be um, solo for a while? <laughs> Or be in a situation that makes yeah. you wish you were, yeah, I mean, you don't, you know, what's the trade-off, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm, and so I like when you, living, yeah, like it's alone. like when you think yeah. about it, it's like, I think I can, I think I'd rather be solo and just wait for the right person or the yeah. right situation before I jump into something that's going to cost me a lot more than I'm willing to pay. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I would say once again. Be patient. Yeah. Now, patient. what advice do you have for someone who's in the throes of the relationship? Mm. If there's a woman um, and you know what's going on, uh -huh. you know, you know the guy. Um, what What do you tell What do you tell the woman first? What do you tell her in terms well, of how to protect herself? First and foremost, you got to be safe. You got to get yeah. safe. Whatever yeah. it takes for you to get safe, for you to be protected, mm -hmm. do that first. Yeah. That That has to happen. Yeah. Because we want you alive. We yeah. want you safe. Yeah. Um, are there things that can happen afterwards that can deal with healing oh, and yeah. rectification? Of course. Yeah. But first thing first, you got to get safe. Yeah. You, you, you got to get safe. And anything that comes after that, as far as with whomever the aggressive party is, mm -hmm. it could be man or woman, there are some things and some steps that can be taken that can bring some rehabilitation. Yeah. But first and foremost, yeah. just make sure you're safe. We yeah, want you and alive. you know what? I mean, I, mean, I have actually seen so many cases in, 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 you know, in my line of work uh -huh. where it's like, well, I didn't want to leave him because he needed me, mm. but he was beating you up. You know, yeah, yes, or, yeah. you know, I didn't have any place to take my kids. Mm. And it's almost like these are excuses right. that not only, you know, put your safety in jeopardy and yeah. that of your children, but I mean, you could you lose your life. Yeah. And, I, and what's the most important thing? Yeah. Being you know safe, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Being safe, being alive, yeah. doing it for your children. If you have children, yeah. you know, you want to set a good example for them. You don't yeah. want to set the standard or. Um, have them with the history of being engaged in those violent mm -hmm, things, or those mm -hmm, violent relationships. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're likely to repeat what yeah. you did. You and know that's, what I mean? And that's kind of what I was thinking with with Cindy and uh -huh. her book, and we'll have info about that. Like, you know, this is what you saw and you experienced, mm -hmm. and you almost gravitated towards the same thing. Right, right, yeah. right, right. And sometimes you don't necessarily do it consciously. It's kind yeah. of subconsciously, yeah. but you end up repeating what it is you grew up in. You wow. know what I mean? It's just a part of the pattern. Yeah. yeah. So we got to break those chains. We got to yeah. break those patterns. Guess what? We're out of time. Oh my goodness, we're out of time already. We have good conversations. This, is, just, a, this is when yeah. a guy and a girl, you know, other guys going to be back next yeah. week. So, yeah. um, okay, thank you, Chris. I mean, yes. I don't even have to thank him because he's a regular. I mean, you know, I'm still going to be gracious and all that, but, you thank know, you. we got this. So, anyway, okay, um, we'll see y'all next week on Little Country Spotlight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.